Norton Antivirus. Some love it, others not so much. A lot of people use Norton, or do they really? Ugh, so many questions. We should probably get to the bottom of all this, shouldn't we? Okay, so for this Norton Review 2023 edition, let's look at all the positives and the negatives of this antivirus to make sure that it's gonna be a good fit for you. Yes, you specifically. And don't forget, I always add discount links in the description. So be sure to check those out where you're gonna find the best possible always updated prices. Okay, let's start with the obvious. Is it even easy to use Norton? Eh, well, how do I put this nicely? Look, most Norton antivirus reviews agree. Norton's app is not the most comfortable. Norton for Windows has, unironically, too many windows. One for the scan, another for the firewall, and so on and so forth. It just gets confusing to navigate. On the other hand, the installation process is simple, so at least Norton has that going for it. This is especially true for mobile devices and Mac OS, since Norton has specific apps for those devices. The design changes slightly between Norton 360 for Mac OS and Windows, but there are no feature differences. Norton for iOS and Norton for Android are also on the same level, at least feature-wise, so no issues with that, thank goodness. But hey, this is mostly thanks to Norton's security features. Speaking of which, is Norton safe? Well, first and foremost, you're gonna find real-time protection and system scans. There's nothing revolutionary here. I mean, most top antiviruses have similar baseline security already in place. But Norton's scan is actually pretty good, as I'll show you in just a minute. Now, I've tested Norton versus viruses multiple times before and redid my testing just for this video. Basically, I put 10 malicious files on my PC and then we can see how quickly and effectively Norton detects them. It's always a nerve-wracking experience, but hey, Norton has met my expectations this time, getting rid of nine out of 10 malware files in under 10 minutes. No, it's not perfect, but it is typical by current industry standards, with Bitdefender having similar results. But during the scan, my CPU usage did skyrocket. And yes, the same thing happened for Bitdefender and TotalAV as well. So really nothing out of the ordinary here. Now, look, this was a full scan, and Norton can do more than just that, but the most peculiar option that I found is Norton Insight. It can mark trusted files on your device based on Norton community usage. This allows Norton to skip these files, saving you time while scanning. Now, in case you wanted to see the Norton 360 review by independent security professionals, well, here's the latest AV Comparatives report. According to their test, Norton consistently blocks up to 99.9% .9 of threats. <laughs> Not bad at all. But to be completely fair, analyzing only real-time protection and virus scans will not be enough to evaluate Norton's security. That's why I'm diving into the app once again to show you the other security features. Now, my personal favorite here is the smart firewall. Since my entire life is on the internet right now, I want to make sure that nobody can abuse it by getting access to my devices or stealing my data, let alone hijack my PC. Now, this makes sure that none of those things happen and then some. After all, this firewall can detect vulnerable open ports and close them to prevent any leaks. And admittedly being a bit paranoid after the recent surge of ransomware, I also enabled PC cloud backup for all my important info. This feature provides a great chance to deploy Norton versus ransomware hacks, and it's also a good backup should you have any software or hardware accidents that ruin your data. And of course, I protect this beautiful face <clears throat> for radio by enabling SafeCam. This feature ensures that you always know which apps are trying to open up your webcam. Oh, and that system optimization is a really nice feature as well. I got a noticeable performance boost the first time I used it. And since then, dealing with duplicate files and disk optimization really helps my PC run with good and consistent performance. So I'm very happy these days. Now, there are more features like parental controls and dark web monitoring, which personally don't use all that often, but as long as you have enough time and patience to deal with Norton's app, well, you can configure pretty much everything you need related to security. All right, features aside, many antivirus apps these days try to fit password managers and VPNs into a full package. Does Norton do that? Well, of course it does, but it isn't anything that unique. Don't get me wrong, if all you need is some extra encryption on top of some ad blocking and Wi-Fi security, well, then Norton VPN is more than enough. 
But as soon as you want to branch into P2P or streaming, well, you're gonna find yourself wishing you had a whole lot more. As a security app, Norton VPN is manageable, but the speeds it provides and the stability of the connection are nothing to really write home about. And while I could do some limited streaming through Netflix UK and the US, which is admittedly impressive for a built-in VPN, the performance just wasn't consistent. And for torrenting, Norton VPN completely blocks P2P connections, so no luck on this front. Now, if you're looking for a VPN antivirus combo, Norton 360 might not be your best pick. I'd suggest you actually check out Surfshark instead. It's a VPN with an extra antivirus package and it performs really well. It's a good choice if you care less about overall security and more about stuff like streaming. On the flip side of that, Norton's password manager is quite decent. After all, it can save your passwords, autofill forms, and provide analysis of your password security. I mean, what else do you need? Well, there is a reason I called it decent, but not great. It clearly needs some multi-factor authentication methods like NordPass, RoboPass, or Keeper. But if you want to have all your tools under one roof, still a decent option. But more experienced users are probably gonna prefer an app with maximum security. All right, so when we're talking about safety, I wanna know how much are you willing to spend to improve your safety? Or in other words, is Norton 2023 worth it? Well, it depends on which plan you go for. Antivirus Plus offers real-time protection, two gigabytes of cloud backup, a firewall, and a password manager. Upgrading to Norton 360 standard expands the backup, adds a VPN, safe cam, and dark web monitoring. And finally, the deluxe version has everything we've listed, plus 50 gigabytes backup, parental control, and support for five devices. Now, the last option is overkill IMHO, unless you're looking for a family plan. So I run with the standard plan myself, and it's a good value, even compared to the other providers. Total AV has similar pricing, and Bitdefender is only slightly cheaper. Okay, so let's summarize. Norton is an interesting provider. It has very strong security, possibly one of the best antivirus providers in that regard. Its features are very useful, even for you casual users, especially with the optimization, camera protection, and backup options. And on the other hand, I'm not a fan of Norton's UI. It's time to change that, guys. And the Norton VPN and password manager are also mediocre at best. But if you don't care about the extras and just want to get a reputable security-focused antivirus, Norton is a good choice. All right, if you have any more questions about the best antivirus 2023 or anything else really, let me know in the comments. All right, thanks for watching and stay tuned because I'm gonna see you in the next one.